All right, uh, Friday morning, very early. Sun is shining, birds are chirping, and uh, I think it's a good day for a quick road trip. Just a little jaunt. Car all loaded up. All we gotta do is throw the diz bag in there. Not too full. Camper still has room as well. But uh, yeah, tire pressures have been checked. Lights have been checked. And check the oil. And then uh, next stop today, Estevan in Canada. Last stop, Kenai Peninsula, seven days from now. One hundred miles down. We're almost there. Almost. And what's this? Construction. <laughs> it looks like a standstill. We've already had to overcome adversity. We have standstill traffic. And Diz, can you tell us about your coffee this morning? I mean, first of all, let me put on a hat or something. I mean, my hair looks crazy. You look good. No! There you go. Now, then to the story. First, I needed to get some coffee because when you're driving a car, you need coffee. Everybody knows. So, we go to the caribou. Oh, well, wait. We went to the subway first, and then the subway was like, hey, we don't have the eggs that you need to make your egg sandwiches. So I'm like, okay, well maybe I'll go get breakfast at the Caribou. So I went next door to get my coffee at the Caribou. They don't have almond milk. So now I don't have nothing. But then we had to go seven miles up the road and try to take this trailer off the highway. And then we had to go to the Caribou on one side of the highway and then the subway on the other side of the highway. And that subway also didn't have any eggs. So then we just ended up getting stuff from Jimmy John's. Things are getting rough already. We're trying to overcome, but uh, mainly right now, we've got non-movement, but we're at 101 miles. And we're past St. Cloud. I was looking for it on the side of the road. Oh. Yeah. Hey, come over here. I may or may not have seen the sign. What's up, dude? I'm gonna. I'm, I'm ready to tell seat. you where we're at. Um, where are we, dude? We're in Fargo, North Dakota. Look at me knowing. Fargo, North Dakota. I did it. On to the second state. State number two. Yeah. I even got my oh, numbers far. right. Boom. Into lovely Fargo, uh, North Dakota. Hey, Doobie. Hey, what's up? I'm at the uh, helm now. You knocked out the first five hours. But do you know where we are? We're almost to Jamestown in North Dakota. Rude. <laughs> Somebody's been paying attention. Pan down to our uh, odometer here. Three hundred and thirty-eight miles. You know what that means? What does it mean? We are ten percent of the way to the Kenai Peninsula. Ten percent? Ten percent already in Dang. the books. We're practically there. We did it. Yep. And, uh, we're now in full on rural North Dakota. Five hundred mile mark. We're not moving, Ladue. I know. Womp womp. I'm pretty sure it's a dirt road up there. I saw a uh, heads up. There's construction. Slow down to forty miles an hour. But I was looking past the semi, and I'm pretty sure it is a stretch of 
unpaved dirt road. We are currently going much less than 40 miles an hour. The sun is setting in what? the west. Where are we, husband? We are officially in Canada. Oh. We crossed the border. You know, portal. Looks kind of like North Dakota. <laughs> yeah, it's very North Dakota. And by the way, take a look at the clock. We're at 12 hours. It was supposed to be, I think, 10 hours 40 minutes. I don't. Total. I don't for even, today. I have 10 hours? Yep. I didn't think it was that long. Uh, pretty, I'm pretty sure it was. we were going to go big on the first day. Okay. We're up to 12 and we still got about half an hour. All right, well, we did it. But we're almost there now and it's not dark yet. How many miles? We did. 632 miles. Dang. Woohoo! All right, good morning. Day two it is, Saturday morning at, we don't know what time it is, well we kind of know what time We it think is. it's 8.41. Yeah, Saskatchewan is declared all over the interwebs as central time, however our phones and the stores, the stores all appear to be following mountain time. Uh, Saskatchewan does boil well. Uh, spent the night in Estevan. Got on the road nice and early, and here we are, cruising the countryside, out in the middle of uh, rural Saskatchewan. Among the safflower fields. Yes. Can you tell us about safflower, Dale? As well, a safflower expert? I mean, I wouldn't say I was an expert, but I did know that safflowers make safflower oil, and apparently, we found out that safflower oil is used in everything from vegetable oil to butter to cosmetics. That's and great. look at, there's yeah. just fields and fields of it. Miles and miles of safflower, who would have thought? There they are. Yeah, we're uh, nine o'clock, so we've been on the trip for 24 hours. How are you feeling so far? A little tired. Oh, this <laughs> That bed was too small? It's because we got a king, we got a big king bed. And I can roll like five times this way before I run into you. And last night, I mean, your foot was like in my back. We were like pretzels. <laughs> it was in, the little ridiculous. It was the micro tell, and apparently that applies to beds as micro well. Beds. Micro, micro beds. Micro beds as well as tells. Uh, but, all right, well, it is a little tired. I feel pretty good. You look really attentive, dude. Listen. Are you a very safe driver? I mean, so safe right now, dude. We're on gravel. <laughs> what the heck, man? We lost the pavement. We got a construction zone. We are off-roading this camper right now. We're like 60 miles from Regina. And uh, it's every man for himself. <laughs> Run! I know she got serious. Look at the upright posture and the backwards hat. She is not messing around. Uh oh. Now what's going on? We got brake oh, lights. Oh, we're stopped. We're stopping. Things are getting interesting. Road there. trip 23. I Saskatoon, which means Regina is in the rear view mirror. And if you'll note, four lanes, divided, smooth. And now we go live to the Diz for a breakdown of Highway 33. Diz? Listen. Tell us about Estevan to Regina. Oh, that was this face. <laughs> that was this face because there was gravel and mud for like I don't know, 10 miles. No, it wasn't that long. It was a long way. It was a long way. They had wetted the gravel. They had wetted the gravel, man. And it, like, it was horrible. Like, do you need to do 10 miles at one time? How about you just finish one mile? That's what I want to know. Tell us about the bridge. Oh, the bridge was only four meters wide. I thought I was going to ram it. All right, uh, here we are. 
heading southeast to the town of Find Later. And what are we gonna find later, dude? Well, they've got a little show of like Volkswagen Beetles and Volkswagen buses. Yeah, just I out mean, of nowhere. I just feel like I should live in a town called Find Later. However, there is no town. The town is only the show of buses. Yeah, we haven't been able to see the city. However, apparently when you go to Find Later, you'll find classic Volkswagens. Yeah, that's Like rad. pristine ones. So we had to make a U-turn on the uh, interstate. Nice work on that. Thanks. Was it hairy? It was a little hairy. All right, so we just left Battlefords, plural because there is a North Battleford and a South Battleford. We have 380 kilometers yep. to Edmonton. Which is 200 uh, miles or so, a little more than that. Yeah, a little more than that. So, making some good ground here. Uh, this, check out the uh, odometer. There it is. Oh. And, <laughs> <laughs> and what does that say? 1,036 miles. We are past the 1,000 mile mark. We did it! the trip means we are a third of the way to where we're going. Ooh, that's way more than 10%. That's way more than 10%. Woo. One third down. Two big days on the front, mm -hmm. I think, was the best decision because... Yeah. Well, and there's nothing here, so it's like you may as well power through to get to, like, a town. Because everything in between is... Empty? Empty. Is a little filled with Volkswagen Beetles. Although you said you want to move to Saskatoon. Get out of here. Okay. I said it was nice. <laughs> well, Yikes. Maybe I'm miserable. This guy. All right, Burby. All right. Where are we? We are in Alberta. Oh, we did it. Crossing provinces. Province number two. Two states down, two provinces down. Well, not down, but enter. All right. Pass through. How many, how long is it until, uh... Resided in? Until Edmonton. What'd that just say, 240 something? I didn't see it. I think it was 240 something. 240 something. Kilometers. Kilometers. Good morning. Day three. In Canada, with Edmonton in the rear view mirror. And look. Things are, someone loved A, item one. Someone loved I Jen. I love you, Jen! Oh, Jen, you know that flirt. Uh, and item two, we got a little more woodsy vibe starting to uh, present itself this morning. The dude's at the helm, how you doing, Ladue? I'm good, how are you? I'm pretty good. What are we, uh, so where are we? We are northwest of Edmonton. Look at this girl, boom! Which province? Alberta. She did it! Oh! <laughs> Should be into British Columbia tonight. Yesterday's uh, surprise adventure of the Volkswagens. That was pretty nice. That was in fun. A town named after Dee's ATM card. Find later. How rude. What happened? I mean, rude. It might be true, but it's still rude. <laughs> yep. So that was a nice surprise. We'll see what today's got in store. Oh, they're all covered up. Not hairy. Yeah, but you can see them out there. Look at out there. But many different too. Look at the size of this hill and look at all the trees. I wonder why forest fires are a problem. Oh my god. <laughs> That's amazing. I do not see a thing aside from forest nation. I mean, I wonder if we're in a proper forest, like a something something forest. I don't think so. No. You should look. I want to know if we're in like some kind of park. I think we got unclaimed land. Hey, Ladue, how's the drive going so far? As long as we're going. Man, it's like I have to get the first two hours out of the city in the morning. The first two hours out of any city has been terrible. And then we... once we get going, things are fine. It's beautiful. Do we have any close shaves this morning? Oh yeah, a deer tried to jump out in front of this camper. That's not cool. It 
he didn't even jump out. He kind of ran out to the edge and then stopped and looked at me like he had to make a decision. And I was like, bruh, I gotta make a decision too. What are you doing? So what'd you do? Well, I put on the brakes, but I didn't slam them because of the camper. I was worried that the camper would get loose. So I just put on the brakes like very slightly and hoped that he would turn and run away, turn and run away which he did, but it was really scary. I had to stop, I was shaking. I was shaking in my boots. You did good, it's professional work. Oh, thanks, husband. Where are you driving, babes? Um, well into the shoulder. Why do we have to drive on, why, we're driving on, are we the only ones driving on the shoulder? Nope. Oh my gosh. There's a semi in front of us. Semi in front of us, and the camper behind us are also on the shoulder. Why are people driving on the shoulder? Because this road is cabbage and we're just getting bounced everywhere. If he's the next car or whatever, like, well, you can even you can, see it. Like, I see. You're just bouncing everywhere. And that trailer is getting tossed all over. So then this semi comes up behind us and passes us and he starts driving on the shoulder. I mean, I after who said what? Nobody said anything. <laughs> I'm turning this video off. This was like, look at how smooth that shoulder is. But I didn't think that driving on the shoulder was a thing that, you know. You did? You did, so. But the semi did it, and the camper behind us did it, and lo and behold, it is exceptionally smoother, even though it's still not great, but uh, yeah. All right. We're gonna be on the shoulder for a while. For the foreseeable future. And highway, it's like these, it's not potholes, it's just dip. It's moguls. Rises, it's moguls, <laughs> yep. It's, we got moguls on the highway. Yep, it's goddamn moguls. <laughs> Where are we, Burby? Ba 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 ba! British Columbia. We made it. Yep. Oh! Another province. Did the road get any better? Yeah. Yeah. No, that other one was way worse. I can't really complain. It's not great. I mean, I feel like... I feel like uh, it did get better after a while. Yep. After we had to stop for gas, and then they were resurfacing, and then there was like an 8-inch difference. <laughs> Like an eight oh, inch God. difference of the road, we had to get off the highway like this. I thought so too. The one where you had to go forward, I thought it was gonna pitch and like scrape the front end. Yeah. Uh, all right, well, we're pretty close. I think it looks like we've only got um, an hour and 15 minutes before we get to Fort St. John. We're there fairly early. It's only 426 unless time has changed again. Yeah, I think we go to Mountain Time. We're not we'll have to figure that out. We don't even know what time it is. Check this out. Look like at our odometer again. 1620. You got the there you go. Well. Anyway. There it is. 1623. You know what that means? I have no idea. 50% of the way there. We are now oh closer. Oh my god to Anchorage and the Kenai Peninsula than we are to Lake St. Croix Beach. Wow. By 23 miles. Three days, Hoss? So That's far, so impressive. Good. Yep. We did it! 10% like... now. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, you can look at the slant of that truck there. Morning four. We're uh, on our way to Liard River. We've been going for about 20 minutes and we have found past wildfire evidence. Look at all the purple that's grown up underneath yeah, it. Fire weed. Like 
Is that what that's called? Uh huh. That is a lot of fire. No wonder it's been so smoky. Man, you could smell it. Yep. If it wasn't so terrible, I'd say it's pretty. St. John on our You are. I can see you. Uh, Fort St. John on our way to Liard River. And it's, it's, windy. Uh, it's windy. Yeah. Windy. And guess what? What happened already this morning? Right off the bat. I don't know what happened. Did a deer jump out at you again? Oh my immediately? Gosh, yes. <laughs> immediately deer again. Came charging around the corner. Came charging around. Tried to jump right in the way of the, of the uh, car again. So, yeah, we're going. Everything I've seen prior uh, to this says there's smoke that may affect your drive. But we just saw a sign that said check drive BC because of fire action. So, yeah. we're going to check. You were right. There is like, you don't want to say it because you don't want to be like pro forest fire. But there is a kind of loneliness in the beauty of it. Yeah. Like with the fireweed underneath and like the trees that are kind of gone or brown. It's black with purple contrast. And black with purple contrast. There's something desolately beautiful about it. Yeah. I think Morel's grow after forest fires be right stop. snuck up on you. I could see into it. I was like, oh no. <laughs> An abyss. Diz, man, you know how to pick the driving. Buddies. First, we have deer. All right, continue. Okay. Sorry. First, we have deer. Then, we have smoke. Then, we have downpours. Then, we have construction, meaning a gravel road on a very serious incline with curves and moguls. Don't forget about the other construction that we already went through too. The one lane down the hill the across the bridge. The one lane down the bridge. Oh my gosh. This girl, we gotta switch because the first two hours are like the absolute worst every day. And we got the next three kilometers apparently. Our moguls. Bumpy road at the time. Yeah man, it's been an action packed day. I'm going 40 on the highway. Yeah. Crossed, uh, uh, we crossed. Uh, we crossed some mountains, and that seemed to cut off the smoke. So the smoke went away. But then it started downpouring. Yep. Even though I checked the weather this morning, and there was no rain to be seen. Uh, you checked the weather while we were in it, and it said it's not raining. Yeah, I did that too. We get a couple of bars every now and again. I checked it. It was like there's no rain here wrong. The drips said otherwise. It was like a pretty good rain too. Kind of hard to see sometimes. And now, it was uh, really hard to see. I was like this. Yeah. And now we got potholes. Yep, there's get, the side. We got a little taste. Yeah, this is the pothole side, by the way. Over in Canada. Potholes are coming. We got about 100 kilometers to Fort. Next Fort. I can't Nelson. Right. Fort Nelson. We passed a sign that said, how's your gas? It's 174 kilometers. Ah, check your gas. Check your gas. So I got the emergency can back there too. So just in case, but uh, we should be good. And uh, as long as I'm rolling now, I'll just point out we're 1874 on the miles, which means in another 125 miles, we have a 2000 mark. 60%, 66%. So, progress continues, albeit slow at times due to Mother Nature and the roads. Yeah. Nope. Oh. What's going on here? 
here, Burbs. Oh, it looks like you're stopping the car. Yeah. Whoa! Our butt's kicked. Pavement's gone. We drove up and over a mountain. It was pouring the whole time. We should have taken video of that. I mean, pouring. I mean, it was hard to see the road, and I was pretty much afraid to look up. And now there's potholes in the gravel. Well, it was raining all the time. It's washing it out. It's getting I think I can see regular road. We're gonna make it? How long do you think this was? Five miles? Yeah. I'd say. Jeez. Where are we, lady? I don't know, but I'm going in this water, either intentionally or unintentionally. I think this is like Muncho Lake in British Columbia. I think it's Muncho Lake. She's going to try out the temps and give us a report. It is raining on me. Yep, it's raining. There's a flat rock to stand on, but be careful if it's slippery. This one here? Yeah. Clears a bell. Not too bad. Uh, it's, I mean, it's, pretty, it's a little chilly. Okay. I don't think I can dunk my whole body. It'd be pretty cold for that. But. Sure. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I'm shocked. I thought it was going to be ice cold. All right, I'm coming. Now I'm coming because I'm afraid some kind of like Loch Ness monster is going to fly here and eat me. I heard there is one in here. That's not cool. No, I'm good. I'm good with this little, by this little thing here. All right. Little... See? I mean, it just feels good. That's some refreshing mountain water. I know. You're still recording. Oh, am I? Are you upside down? <laughs> Yeah. How'd it go, Burbs? Feels good. See? Be good for a swim. Yep. I like it. <laughs> now let's get to the hot one. Okay. That guy. What's going on over there, buddy? You want to share some with me? Look at that little baby one. Hey, goat. What was that? That was from an Adam Sandler seat. Oh, look at this guy. Look at him go. You better be careful to come ram the car. <laughs> Goats ahoy! All right, we just hot springed it up. Liard River, Laird River. Liard? Liard River. Hot spring. What'd you think, Ladoo? It was beautiful. Yeah. It and was really... It was very hot. <laughs> we cooked. Diz, what, yeah. do we, what do we got here? We got an electric fence. Oh, oh. I'm just kidding. We got an electric fence to keep the bears out. Yep. Careful where you touch. Careful where you touch. <laughs> They're not messing around. Nope. Hi. Yeah, they got it all perimetered off. And the entrance has electricity on the ground. <laughs> 
to keep the bears from coming in. Are we staying in this fence? No, nope. we are not. <laughs> However, I did see that there's a motorcycle that had brought their own little pop-up tent. Bears are gonna go get them first. Yes, they're so. way easier to get. Yep. Too bad for those guys. Good morning, good Tuesday morning. Morning number five. Does it feel like five mornings already? Absolutely not. Well, it was our first night in the camper. We took no video. Why? Because we're us. Awesome. We just can't help ourselves, so. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, how did it feel? It was our first successful camp. Yep. What'd you think of it? It was great. I mean, we're already like making our list of stuff that we've like forgot or, you know, like. Little nods and ends. Yeah, not that we forgot, but just that like we didn't know what living in the camper would be like or that nobody anywhere would have toilet paper. Like, I don't know why we didn't remember that, but like just little, little tiny things. Yep. A lot of little things. Not even a lot. Just a couple things, things yeah. Uh, but, uh, well, were you chilly? Were you freezing? Uh, not <laughs> under the covers. It was like hot, very hot and very cold. Yep. And uh, what do you think the temperature was last night? Like 50? I bet it was, 55? I'd say 55. It wasn't too cold, but like under the covers it was really hot. And so I kept throwing off the covers and then being like, wow, ah, yep. why did you do that? Under the sleeping bag, it was pretty toasty. If you left the sleeping bag, you were freezing. Yeah. We're on the road again, off to where do? Go to Whitehorse. Where were we, by the way? We were in Leard River. Leard. Yeah, we just went to the hot springs last night. Our campground, which we stayed at because it was an official campground, had broken showers. Their water was non potable. Yeah, you and couldn't the restaurant, the water. You couldn't. There were no showers. The restaurant was closes at eight, but you can't get food after seven. Yeah. We you showed up at like just hang seven out in the ten. restaurant for an hour. We're like, oh, we're gonna grab a bite, and they were like, no, uh, you're not. No, kitchen's closed. Sorry, you missed it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, thus far today, beautiful morning. No hurricanes so far. Knock on wood, and we got some beautiful scenery. So, oh, here comes a mile marker. Let's see. Watson Lake is our next real town. By the way. We have not communicated with the parents, so we're... We're hoping they're not losing it, but yep. we didn't have any Wi-Fi. We didn't have nothing. No, no, yeah, that was the other thing, we didn't have Wi-Fi. No Wi-Fi, no showers, no water. <laughs> that was funny. But uh, yeah, 200 kilometers to Watson Lake and maybe cell service. Maybe. We'll see. For sure gas, although we're doing good there. But uh, yeah, 85 underway. I think it's an animal. I think it might be a move below. Careful, dude. It is. This buffalo is just walking the highway. He's walking the highway. Oh my god. <laughs> He's enormous. He's not like coming over this way, is he? No, thank god. Oh my lord. <laughs> Jesus. He's just strolling. <laughs> Strolling down the highway. A little like a little like this, Aaron. Let's see. Uh huh. <laughs> oh God, he got someone on a motorcycle. Somebody must oh, have that, broke they down. Look like they're just taking a break. Yeah. Maybe they just got to go to the bathroom. Buffaloes walking the highway. Uh, right after a dude pushing a cart. Yeah. On the highway. I got out the camera because we were just chatting. And I was like, what's that in the road? And I thought it was someone on a motorcycle stopped in the road. I thought it was a horse-drawn carriage. Yeah, we were both wrong. We were both wrong. A man pushing like... A collapsible like, cart. Yeah, like one of those three-wheeled strollers that people who jog with their baby, it kind of looked like one of those, but a yeah. little more heavy duty. Yeah. Pushing it with a backpack on, walking. Like a hiking backpack. Walking down this road. Now, Danielle. Yeah. We were roughly 40 kilometers from Liard River. Does yeah, that sound 30, fair? 40 kilometers. Have we seen a single town since we passed him? No. 20 minutes ago? No. Was it just 20 minutes? I feel like, I, don't, I think it was like 100 kilometers this way to the even nearest town 
Not the biggest town, the nearest town. He is just strolling through the forest. And, and he waved at us. Like, yep, he's like, like hey. hey. He was just like this. How's it going? Not like, hey, help me. Nope. He was like, hey, have a great day, guys. Yep, just out here walking across the entire continent. Don't mind me. What is happening? <laughs> so this morning's craziness has been visual thus far. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Buffalo on the road. And I get, up. I get in the driver's seat and you never know what's going to happen. No. <laughs> you bring the wildness, man. I got the stabilization on. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> I was Aaron. <laughs> oh my god, that was the worst ever. Was, I looked down and I was going eight miles an hour. And we were still getting tossed. <laughs> Tossed all over the place. Oh no, I can't see right now. <laughs> down over there. That was so dumb. Oh my god. Oh, that was brutal. Oh man. Oh my god. Hey, you did. I think that was the appropriate speed. <laughs> it was so bad, dude. Yeah. Well. They said to go 50. <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> All right, this just in, dehitted dinosaur, pterodactyl, and we're in the Yukon. I hit a dinosaur. Pterodactyl. And we just passed a sign that said we've crossed the 60th parallel. That's cool. We're way up there. Way up there. By my count, there's only 30 more parallels to cross. Oh, no. And then we'll start counting back that's down. Too, that's too far, yeah. <laughs> we've gone too far. Yep. That's how you know. So, all right, recap. Cross Minnesota, cross North Dakota, cross Saskatchewan, cross Alberta, uh -huh. cross British Columbia. Oh my gosh. Yukon. Yukon. Sixth uh, territory. 